Good evening. Jacob all here. So, you're on the GoPro. I'm going to have two of you going again. But I'm going to try to focus on you guys because I've got winners to announce on this video. Uh, some people don't like to watch these. The nice thing about the YouTubes, I can fast forward during all the annoying parts. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some stuff that I've got going on. I'm going to go over the winners. And I'm going to go over a couple new things I've got, some stuff that I wanted you to take a look at, and we can go from there. So, if you're seeing me talk to two people, it's because there's two of you. I am now live. All right, so, we were in, uh, let's see, Gatlingburg, Tennessee yesterday, or last week. Gosh, everything's a blur. Uh... It was a fun little time. My wife, Jake's girl, she took me to get away while this some of this chaos was going on. Uh, nice thing down there. Uh, they're acting like nothing's going on. Yeah, people wear gloves. People wash their hands. <laughs> yeah, I like to party. So, uh, yeah, as we were leaving and the rest of the world was setting themselves on fire, uh, they announced on their travel page that... Uh, so far, they haven't had any cases. I don't know how that's at. Uh, and this is going to be the least... This is all that I'm going to go political-wise. But... Everyone gets a cold. And this... Some people's mind is worse than a cold. And some people's it's not. Flu, whatever you want to call it. All that aside, eventually, even if you are completely isolated, you're going to come out of your bunker and someone's going to get you sick. So, as far as I'm concerned... I'm licking doorknobs, I'm putting my hands in my mouth, I'm like my kids and I'm all over the place and just take this and I just let people sneeze in it. I'm just, I'm just messing with y'all. So the uh, pack out that I took on vacation actually worked out pretty well. I don't know if I'm going to use this for the camera gear, but I was going to sort of show it off a little bit. So I went ahead and divided it like that. I've got the case for the DJI Osmo 3. Always keep an extension cord, but these extension cords, I get them with the uh, USB ports on it so that I don't have to bear, uh, bring as many of these little vampires. Yes, I agree about the height. This thing, this one's not mine, but I did borrow. This is what I used to attach to the windshield. Uh, I will post on Instagram once I cut a couple of the clips uh, and then YouTube something separate. I'll throw maybe some at the end, but I put this on the dash or the windshield and had the GoPro in 4K doing the Tale of the Dragon, which if any of you guys don't know about that, that's in, oh, what is it, Fishing Forge, Gatlingburg, Tennessee. It's like seven miles and like 300 curves. Uh, and I did it in the Pactor, the Ford SVT Raptor. It's a Gen 1 with a 6.2, and I had Jake's girl grabbing onto every bit of old shit handles that she could grab. Honestly, I think it was probably more fun because one, uh, I didn't have to worry about hitting the ground, which I know my friend and his Viper, uh, some of the longer cars, or if their wheels aren't pushed, you know, to the extremities, they, you know, get into that. So, that was nice. I hope to post some of that. I got a couple more things for it. This is, this is something screwy I was playing around with, right? So you could do both. You could do a camera, like an iPhone, and then you could do a GoPro. This is probably not going to happen. Uh, this little dual battery... Charger is a must. I know everyone on the GoPro site says that the GoPro drains its battery. I got 40, I got 51 minutes on one of these batteries in 4K. And I was going all over the place. It's a car, so image stabilization always affects your battery life. Uh, I always get handfuls of extra memory cards. I've got some of these mounts. I'll show in this one. I want to make something that sits in the tray of the Raptor. So this is permanently on the dash but like not tacky. Uh, got this just recently uh, while we still could get out. I got this at Micro Center. Uh, I'm gonna mount this in my bathroom. We're gonna do a small little bathroom over this, what I call it, uh, what is it? Oh, Covation, our COVID quarantine. I don't know, I, I hashtagged it somewhere there. But yeah, so, this thing right here, the, the bar mount, 
I don't bike a ton as you can see, but uh, I do Pelotonia every year. I don't know if I'm doing it this year or not because I haven't been the healthiest and who knows if uh, this thing is going to wipe that out as well. So that wasn't bad. Uh, I will say for everyone out there that's watching, uh, since I've got some attention, uh, we bought 24 boxes of filament or two cases. Uh, I bought another 12 last Friday. Um, maybe it wasn't Friday, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. Beginning of this week, about 12. So we have 30 some rolls of filament. So we are going to keep printing. Uh, we spray all our stuff down and things like that. But for the rest of you that do care about that stuff, I mean, we care. We just, you know, think that maybe sometimes germs are meant to be spread. Uh, but whatever, I'm going to keep that stuff as my belief and let you all stay safe. But, so we will be printing orders. As long as the postal service is shipping, we will be printing and shipping orders. Uh, we're not gonna stop. We've got enough to keep us going. I think for, um, it's under a month, but at least two, three weeks, I believe. So hopefully uh, there should not be an interruption in that chain. I know there's been stuff going on and some mis misinformation on Instagram, uh, Facebook about Amazon, which, if you've read the description in the art, if you've read the article, they're not stopping shipments of stuff other than medical supplies. They're not prioritizing it. And if it's not in a warehouse, they're not gonna, if it's out, excuse me, if it's out of their warehouse, out of stock, they're not gonna reorder it first. They're gonna reorder medical supplies, TP and all that stuff like that. Uh, I mean, They've been joking that the Postal Service is going to halt operations for years because, you know, the government's really great at running businesses. Uh, and I, I mean, I do think it's I do think it's possible that they'll stop. And so uh, California, uh, Los Angeles, whatever, they're on lockdown. They're not supposed to leave. So how am I supposed to drop packages off? I'm hoping that I can. Uh, I'm hoping that I can schedule pickups if I'm not allowed to leave the house. But if I'm not allowed to leave the house, and we don't do priority, they won't come and pick it up. Now I'm hoping I can just schedule a couple priorities in some of the package shipments and they'll pick up the rest of the packages. But we fill up baskets when we drop packages off. Uh, we get people that order 20 bins of these that takes up a fairly good sized box. Uh, we get people that order little teeny packages and sometimes the little teeny packages just go on regular mail. So yeah, hey, what's going on Parkway? Yeah, so Parkway Wholesale, you guys see he's joined. He's, they're in California, they're Los Angeles. Uh, they're shut down. Uh, businesses like that are just, you know, not able. There's orders by whatever governors, you know, uh, mayors, whatever. The just businesses shut down. So I can run out of the house and I will run as much as I can possibly do it. Uh, I am working from home. Uh, my business has said, don't come in if you don't have to. And if there is a mandate, then we will just keep running. As long as we don't have to run on generators, uh, which I do run North Hollywood, California. Yeah, that's crazy. Just, you know, I think New Jersey, uh, I know Pennsylvania, governor of Pennsylvania has done something. So who knows, you know, unless they cut power, I can keep working. Uh, internet, I hope we don't lose internet, but I don't necessarily need it. Yeah. Yeah, that's plan. what we plan on doing Parkway is we're gonna, we're gonna work from home uh, for my primary job. And then all of the pack out orders, we will just do our best. Worst case, if we're not shipping right away, we will stockpile everything in the moment we can get stuff to a postal service. So we hope to not delay any orders. In fact, uh, something new is coming in the mail, hopefully Monday, that's going to help with orders. Uh, I think we have over t 10 printers physically here going. We've got a bunch of other printers, uh, sort of, hidden over there that we run uh, when we can to keep up with orders. Yeah, yeah, Parkway Wholesale. They're gonna try to hopefully drop ship stuff. Uh, here in Tampa Bay, got a two series. Just okay. And generally locked down. Yeah, this, these lockdowns are crazy. Yeah. I, hey, nobody wants you to spread fecal matter, so wash your hands. I don't care if you're an anti-vaxxer or you're a regular person that believes in, you know, smallpox is a bad thing. Well, wash your hands. Nobody wants, you know, you to go into a bathroom with a Mountain Dew bottle and take a big old poo and then bring it into work and walk around with it all day long. And then you have to work on their computer and you got to use wipes. So nobody wants that crap. So let's like keep that crap at home, literally that crap at home. 
all that other good stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here in Ohio, we have floods, so that's fine. Uh, but hey, do we want to move on to something a little more uplifting? You know, some pack out stuff and messes. I think we should. What do you guys think? So, I picked up something. I only picked up two of these, and everyone keeps asking for it. Uh, these were on sale for like, I don't know, 15 or $19. So, if you look at the width wise, these are going to be perfect to go into a pack out bin. So, what I'm going to do. I only bought two. They're not free. So stop asking for free stuff. I'm kidding. I love giving away free stuff if I can. And speaking of free stuff, uh, Ideal Electric, Parkway, Full Sale, me, we're doing a little giveaway. So check out my Instagram. Uh, it might be delayed or I might just run it for a month because of the shipping issues. Uh, but yeah, head over to my Instagram. You guys are already on there, but after this amazingly uh, impressive live stream uh, and YouTube video. You YouTubers, get onto my Instagram, at the Jacob All, right? Not these, the Parkway Wholesale giveaway. That's gonna be a bunch of cool, ideal stuff, some pouch. The, the, one of the best looking bottle openers I've ever seen, they hands down uh, beat Milwaukee on that one because Milwaukee just looks like a tool, a wrench, but this looks like a freaking pipe bender. Uh, a pouch, some wire strippers, some lineman's pliers, all that, I've got a giveaway going. Uh, follow me, follow Ideal Electric, follow a Parkway Wholesaler, uh, share with 700,000, 750,000 friends, uh, tag them, all that other stuff. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be a sweet one. It's a, I don't know exactly what it's valued at, but it's valued at awesome because it has a, a pipe bender that is a bottle opener. So you can't beat that. I mean, seriously, a pipe bender that's a bottle opener? That's awesome. But let's, okay, so these, these are giveaways, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm literally gonna take the price that I paid for these, plus what I sell my bins for, okay? One of these bins, one of these. If you buy just this, I will ship it the next day that shipping is available. So if somebody buys this this weekend, I've got two of these that are sort of, not, not extra, but they're extra, right? And I'm gonna put this inside of this, and I think we're gonna sort of do like a whoop, okay? So, if you want this, here's the, here's the way you get it. I'm not gonna, like, you guys can't message me about it. You can't do that. All you gotta do is go onto my website, store.jacoball.com. There's gonna have a cart, add to cart option for these, okay? Right? All you're gonna do is add it to your cart. If it lets you add it to your cart, it's available. There's only two right now. I know a lot of people have said, I really would like to be able to buy some of these. Now these are the ones, these are not like the hex shank. These are just, you chuck them up in your drill room, okay? And I know a couple of people have said, it would really be nice if you had some of these bit holders, right? That could just take regular round bits. I, yeah, I don't super get, but I wanted to try this out. They weren't expensive in worst case, if nobody wants them, then I get them. So I like that. So. I'm going to put those together in a little quick video. Uh, I have got a ton. I really appreciate you guys, right? Not you guys, but people like you guys. Greenlee, that's right. Mr. Greenlee, you guys rock. Go Canada. I mean, not just Canada, though, right? Whoop, whoop. I have got so many stickers. So many stickers. Get my pack out. Look at this. Look and woo, man made. That's right. So I got to get these things put up there. Uh, I might, I, I might have snuck this in to the cart today because ooh, I almost dropped it. Uh, we're gonna do a little quick coronavirus bathroom remodel. Hard line. Uh, and. I've got a little hall bathroom that we use primarily, and I need to cut around some stuff. So, what we're gonna do here real quick is a little unboxing. That's right. I know everyone else has had it before, man. I don't care, whatever. I like this dust collection port. I, I just pump the dust right in here. OSHA, I hope you're not watching. Uh, you know what I did notice? I don't know if somebody could, you know, direct message me, let me know. But where did you guys get these three inch? Where do you get this crap? I looked for the Dremel on the Dremel section and I couldn't find anything. It comes with, 
a couple of these. Let's see. It's got a, uh, let's see, diamond, right? Carbide abrasive. So that looks all lovely. Regular abrasive, that's like cutting, you know, steel and whatnot. And then diamond. But I want to cut some vinyl planking. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use. I'm probably going to use the carbide abrasive for that. Like it look at that it's got a lock right there to lock your arbor that's nice this thing looks like it just indexes so that's pretty nice let's see do I have I should have yes I have Ooh. oh that's a That's pretty smooth. I like it. Yes, you do need one. I, I don't know why. I, I've honestly been waiting for a project where I'm going to do a little bit of cutting like that and I don't want something big. Where That's a good one. I'll just put that in my angle grinder that I need to get. Because my old Milwaukee, I got the non-fuel. And uh, not that I like to knock, but I'm also not going to say what's good when it's not. But the non-fuel Milwaukee angle grinder, that thing... Hold on. I don't think you could run a flat disc on this. I try. And the second you dig this thing into anything, uh, this thing stalls out. And this is the second one I've had. Uh, I would not get the non-fuel of this. It's like light duty. You try to cut a lock. I mean, legally cut a lock. But you try to cut a piece of chain or something like that. And the second the thing bites in, which yeah, you don't want to rip your wrist off, but the second it bites in, this thing stalls out. So if you're grinding a weld because you're a good YouTube welder like me, and you're just, you know, trying to make it look pretty and you're going into it, this thing here just constantly stalls out. So I'm not really a fan of it, but let's go ahead and let's show off some stuff, okay? Because like I said, you all have seen this. I know you guys want this. I'm not giving it away. Hey, hey, hey. So, if you all don't know, look in here. Right? You guys see that Electron Smith? He is the designer of this guy. It's the bunk bin. That's right. When you put that with that, look at that. I printed my first ones, my test ones, in white to just sort of see how they worked out. And uh, tools, interestingly enough, get really dirty. Who'd have thought? Unless you're like me and you don't use your tools because, you know, you're not a real person. But, yeah. So these things rock. So, I happened to finally print a black one to come out in the shop. And let's really be honest, I didn't print it for myself. I printed it for someone else. And I had a failure. Uh, the filament got clogged, or caught, and it caused a line in the print. But, alright. So, I'm going to post about this separately, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. That's right, you two fasteners, right? They're out of Canada, eh? So what other fasteners, someone comment in here. You comment in the comments, Mr. YouTubers. What fasteners came from Canada? Uh, I want you to name, I'm not giving you anything, just come on, name it. It's square, okay? It's a square style drive fastener, all right? So I'm going to show you this stuff what you think, you know, think of Jeopardy music playing in the background. And you guys on YouTube, maybe I'll do the little Jeopardy music, right? So YouTube fasteners, right? They make hardened fasteners. They're not using some super crazy stinky chemicals, right? But they also have bits that engage really positively. And I know if any of you, any of my followers, VCG members, very cool gang, right? Will it stick? I'm going to do one of those. That's right. Will it stick? So, these fasteners go along, or these, these bits go along uh, with some pretty sweet fasteners. They've got some neat stuff. Uh, I want to show you this one, if I can get this on here. For putting in window and doors, right? So when you're working on a window and a door, and you want to be able to adjust the jam, look at this thing. Look at this. 
So this embeds into the jam, and then when you turn the shaft clockwise, it pulls the jam in, and when you turn it counterclockwise, because this is independent, it basically pushes the jam back out. So you drive this sucker in, and then you can adjust it using your bit so that you can get your thing. This, this is my shop. Uh, this is a Morton building. It's like a 35 by 40 uh, pole barn. But yeah, so this is really great. And look at this stuff you can get. Displays, you name it. So they sent me this to give it a try. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, they also gave me two of these little things. Little bags, a bunch of different fasteners. Uh, I like, the number one thing that I always look for good fasteners for is hanging cabinets. Uh, traditional cabinets that require them to be anchored into the walls. Uh, I like a good solid shaft. Uh, I mean, that's Jake's girl's job, but you know, she wants a good solid shaft. But. So what, what, what you really want, right, is a fastener that's not going to snap, okay? So you got something like this and you're gonna pull in and you got a good fat head on it that you're not gonna have to worry about that's gonna sink into your wood too much and then just basically pull right through. So they sent me these out. I'm gonna let you know honestly what I think about them. A little bit of everything. Here is some serious, look at this. 5 16ths by three and one eighth. That is a serious screw. So this is more of your construction framing related deck and fence board type fence. Some smaller construction grade. Those will sink in real well. Some longer ones. And if you look at this shaft, <laughs> when you look at this shaft, right? Do you see that? Right? So that is meant so that when you're drilling it in, that it basically extracts the material so that the, sh the screw can go in cleanly and, and have a cleaner and easier to drive setup. They also have, yeah, so here's some of the cabinet screws. I love cabinet screws. They always hang in stuff. Cabinet screws are the way to go. Crazy construction. And then this, oh, look at these. These are beautiful. Look at these nice little trim screws. So, speaking of uh, bins, right? So, they're a little too big for these. Oh, they'll just barely fit. But I, I accidentally didn't have my numbers right and had way too many plus signs. Uh, so, I'm gonna be using some of those for myself. But when you buy, just like they should, when you buy a box of screws, comes with a bit. Yeah, I will definitely be doing a review on these screws. Uh, the Watkins family. Uh, so far, what I see is really nice. Uh, I've got a lot here to try out, but I think you guys should try them too. So since I'm putting this on both, uh, I will do a separate post, so watch my Instagram for this. Uh, I'm just gonna take some photos and we're gonna have somebody comment below and I'll send one of these out to you, USA and Canada. Uh, we'll just drop this in the mail. You can get it for free. You don't even need to pay shipping. So, got one there for you, Instagram, and I've got one there for you, YouTube. So yeah, it's a little variety pack. It's got a bunch of their bits and various trim screws. It's got some of the heavy duty, like pan head, if you want to call it, or flat heads. Uh, not flat head, does in a slot, but basically so that you don't sink into your wood and pull through. And of course, because I got a bunch of boxes of stuff, they sent some bits, so yeah, I appreciate you two fasteners, and I will post a couple separate clips of those in use. All right, so this was one which I don't have an opinion of yet, but the second this person reached out to me, uh, teaser, right, okay? I was like, this is hilarious, this is awesome. I said, could you mix epoxy in this? Because that's the first thing I thought of epoxy, right? You do a small batch of epoxy, uh, but it's for a whole bunch of other stuff, right? So if you're doing a small drywall patch uh, and you need to, you know, mix up some and you don't want to sit there in the little metal tray and you're going like that, do, do I pack out? Well, that's a silly one. That's a silly one. Who knows? <laughs> come on, come on. There's a few. Oh, and what's that? I got something going on. Uh, my buddy Nate. I mean, I'm sort of buddies with him because at one point I lived in Florida 
and in the summertime i don't wear a shirt but it's ohio and it's like 30 degrees so sorry nate that's not happening but i am building a pack out hey see see i get distracted thanks thanks will thanks thanks okay so let's let's get on to this and then we'll go we'll, then we'll talk about that all right so what is this so this is like a super silicon ball gag no i'm just kidding no. so it's a mixing bowl that's silicon you can even turn this thing inside out but since it's flexible if you mix anything in here just about anything at least they were saying uh it's gonna come right back out right so say you're mixing up some mortar uh some drywall mud and it even gives you that which i'm bringing that in the kitchen and i'm making brownies actually hey come on seriously so look it's called the mud mix and more right so you guys all right if you're watching this stream comment in here otherwise send me a message is this food safe? Because I want to make some brownies with this. Because if I'm in the kitchen with a Milwaukee Surge Impact and I'm just splattering away at this, am I going to make some pretty cool? And then because it's silicone, right? It's easy. If, you, if, if we're talking about real stuff here and you're doing drywall compound, joint compound, something like that, you know, if you get some of the fast setting stuff, you know, that stuff's going to eventually dry and it's going to ruin your stuff and you're going to have to wire wheel it or whatever. So in here, you just squeeze it when you're done. Flip it over. Boom, silicone, uh, not silicone paint, uh, latex paint. Put it in here, you know how it dries to the inside of your bucket, a lot of times you can peel it out, but all of the corners, right? There's no corners, it's a freaking ball. It's just a ball, throw this on here, your drill, mix your, your drywall compound, dump it into your trowel, your trough, you're good to go. You can let this dry, or if you do want to rinse it right away, you can. Uh, if you even look, I've seen some videos of them flipping this thing entirely inside out, which I'm gonna try to do, but I'm like, I, you know, I only know how to grow a beard. I don't know how to flip balls inside out. Oh, here we go, okay, right? So flipping it inside out and you can scrub it down and then you're back to a ball again. So that's pretty sweet, so check them out. Uh, We've got this bathroom remodel we're doing real quick. It's just a simple like lipstick on a pig because it's not a fancy house. It's our house. It's not fancy uh, that we've got to do some stuff. So imagine, right, you can paint right out of this. And when you're done, let it dry, rinse it, whatever. It's silicone. Wipe it out. You'd be good to go. They include some cups. Measuring cups. Yeah. yeah. Fancy. Look at that. I mean, I can tell you that they did some nice hiding of products in that, right? What kind of brownies? Mm. Well, so Canada, you guys can have special brownies. And here in Ohio, we just have to have regular brownies. But I'm not, I might be nutty, but I don't put nuts in my brownies. That's right. There's only one place for nuts. So here you go, look at that. Mike Anderson, I'm pretty sure actually that's who reached out to me. But you can see here, right? You mix your mud, throw it in your trowel or your trough. Good to go. So Mike, thanks for sending this out. Uh, you'll see today, tomorrow, when I'm working on this bathroom, I will definitely put that to use. What's next? What's next? What's next? So I finally, finally got around to bringing this home. And what is this good for? I feel like, uh, what's that? How does that thing go? Ooh, rah, what is it good for? Well, this, this is, I don't drink coffee. So this, hold on a minute. I'm not going to talk because you guys can't hear me. Can anyone say torque converter? So I have been waiting to do this for way too long. Okay, let me grab one more thing.
Can you see that? All right. So why don't we find out right now how trashed this torque converter is? Because I might stay at a lot of Holiday and Expresses, but I am not a quote unquote mechanic. So I made a boo boo. I need to put something in here. Man, this thing is a mess. Who put this in here? I made a boo boo. And anyone on here that's a mechanic knows exactly what I did wrong, right? But if you're ever installing a torque converter, you've got your engine inside your vehicle and you take the torque converter, right? And you get your transmission and you slide it on and it's supposed to do what twice? It's supposed to click. The second click are these little tabs that line up with the oil pump. And when they line up, everything's good. When they don't line up, what happens? You destroy the oil pump. So I destroyed the oil pump. So I had to take my Turbo 350 and I had to completely tear the oil pump housing out of it and clean it out, put new seals in it, had to put a new thrust bearing, I believe it's called. Because that cracked the oil pump gears. I mean, they were in like six pieces and there was metal everywhere. Now, I've heard some mixed reviews, not reviews or statements, but when you crack that gear, if that gear never turns, it will hopefully doesn't spin any fluid inside the transmission. So what I'm looking at is I dumped, it looks like I've got some dirt, but I don't see metal shavings. And a couple people keep saying to me, well, you know, it's not expensive to take this torque converter and have them put it on a lathe and they cut this weld off. But I don't have the money to just willy nilly take stuff apart. But I do have the balls. So what I've heard, you take a coffee filter, any type of oil filter, uh, oil funnel filter that you use. And it's, heck, if you've got something you're using to paint with, you pretty much take your filter Run your fluid through it, and then you should be left with a pretty good idea of what's in your fluid. And as of right now, besides some dirt, I don't see any metal shavings. Uh, and the theory is I shouldn't have any metal shavings because the pump here never spun because this was installed wrong by myself. So that's good, right? No metal shavings are good. We don't want to see any metal shavings. So, I, uh, I got a lot to do. The other thing I need to do is I got finally the parts in to fix my Fez tool, MFT, and I've got to cut some paneling for our bathroom remodeling. And I lost the knob from the broken bracket. I have no idea where the broken bracket is. I know where the new bracket is that I finally got in, uh, one of you Instagrammers uh, told me a good place to get that from, I believe, MM Machinery, MM Tools. Uh, got that, and it looks good. Uh, one of you, let's, let's go ahead and change subjects, right, like I always do. So, we got another little setup, right? So, say, uh, if you're follow, if you're watching right now, comment. Uh, I will post more information on this but I got a little something here right this is a pack out and this is a custom-made bracket so 
allows you to put a T stack versus stack on top of the pack out. So you put this on first and there you go. Now, if you want to have the drawers in between, then you gotta have a top. So this, once you put your versus stack, your T stack drawers in, you mount this guy on the top and he's on Instagram and I will tag him when I take some photos of this separately. But uh, he makes these, he's got a website I don't, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember the name. This stuff always leaves me because I got so much of this stuff that I got to go through. In fact, if you look around at my mess, right, you can see here, if you just look around, I've got a serious mess to clean up. And you would think with this whole coronavirus thing that I would get this place a little cleaner and I'm hoping to. But then Jake's girl, aka my wife, had a great idea that we should remodel the bathroom. And we will, but I gotta get some of this stuff, you know, set aside. But I need to clean this up and I also need to let those people over there on YouTube know uh, who won some of these uh, impact drivers that I put on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys know and then I'm gonna end this so that I can get back to work. You guys on Instagram, remember, I didn't forget about you. So, one of these will be available for Instagram and one of these will be available for YouTube. But YouTubers, all right. The winners. Is this the end of the video for YouTube? It's never the end of the video. If you guys on Instagram literally want me to just put this on while I clean, if that makes any of you that have the OCD uh, happy, let me know and I'll just leave this thing running. I'll start another one every hour and then you guys can call me William Patrick. You know what I'm saying? Running those hour long streams. So, William Carnell and Rob with two B's are. So technically he's got Rob with two R's, but whatever. William Carnell and Rob B. Okay, if you're on Instagram and you're those guys, you can hit, hit me up. Uh, I'll post in the comments of this video on YouTube and the previous video, those winners. But yeah, William and Rob, I'm gonna throw you some stickers and some impacts. I appreciate you guys commenting and you guys got the closest. Get your ass to Mars. Come on, Total Recall. And Skynet is online is, come on, Terminator. And both of those are Arnold Schwarzenegger. So one day I decided when somebody said, your website is too long. And I said, I can make it longer. And I registered, get your SMR, Skynet is I only kept it for one year. But I did register it just for the sake of being able to say I can make a longer website address. But yeah, so everyone go check out the Mud Mix and More ball. Because everyone needs to have a ball during this coronavirus. Not to mention, I know you all have some honeydew lists, and who doesn't need a way to have at least less cleaning to do and simpler mixing? Because remember, there's no corners. And when you're mixing in something that has corners, anything that's in your corner isn't going to get mixed all the way. Uh, yeah, I've got to put some more of these kits together. I've got a million things to clean up. So I appreciate you all watching in both of your arenas. And uh, again, check out the site for these. You'll literally know when it's live, so store.jacoball.com. When you go on there and you see this on the front page, and if you click it and it lets you add it to your cart, then it's available, okay? Uh, add it to your cart and then we'll send you an invoice for shipping. That's just gonna be the easiest way to do it because I don't know where you're gonna be. So I'll just have two on there available, add it to your cart, and then we'll send you an invoice for shipping. You're gonna get this without the red case, unless you really want the red case, but let's try to do it without the red case. And this guy, and I'm gonna pre-assemble it. If it ends up being two, it's gonna be $10 more. But basically, I'll have these bits inside this, ready to fold open. You should be good to go. Uh, yeah, just you know, keep watching, keep following. Uh, YouTubers, Instagram, right? Most of y'all that watch my stuff aren't necessarily even following me, so follow me. Because 
It makes me feel special. I'm lonely. I'm sitting here at this house. And my wife doesn't know what I do. She's like, what's that? And I'm like, it's a tool. And she's like, what's it for? And I was like, it's for, it's like cutting off the limbs of defenseless little animals. And she's like, oh, do we need that? And I'm like, do we not need that? And then she goes, oh, okay. Like, but you guys know what it's for. And I appreciate that you guys make me feel warm and fuzzy. So follow, comment, because commenting lets the algorithms know that you actually have some vested interest in me. And uh, share it with all your friends, because if you're twisted enough to watch my shit, then uh, your friends are probably twisted enough too. I appreciate you guys' stuff. I appreciate you all watching. Have a good one. We're going to say goodbye to YouTube. Oh yeah, <laughs> what's the thing we're supposed to do at the end? Back out.